President Biden has wrapped up his visit and is now on his way home. Trey Yinks on the ground in Israel. All right, Trey, since the president has now departed, does that mean we'll see the ground invasion soon? Yes, sir. Good morning. It's much more likely. And just moments after President Biden was wheels up, there are air raid sirens sounding once again in central Israel. Hamas and Islamic Jihad firing on major population centers. I do want to show you the skyline just over my shoulder, Stuart. You can see in the distance there some black smoke rising up as the sun sets here in southern Israel. That is coming from Israeli airstrikes along the Gaza Strip. We have watched throughout the day as the Israelis have targeted Gaza. We do have some more information from inside the strip on that hospital explosion yesterday. But first, I want to get to some video we shot and a report from along the border with Gaza. We were able to enter one of the communities where a massacre took place last Saturday. We were with the Israeli military, and this is what we saw. Kafar Aza is a ghost town. Pieces of life are scattered amid the charred remains of death. The few civilians still here only return to gather belongings and look for their pets. I can do whatever I can to help and keep me sane. What should the world know about what happened here? I, I can't speak about it. I haven't, um, I haven't realized the situation till now. Sorry. In the distance, Israeli airstrikes pummel the Gaza Strip. Black smoke spewing from the horizon before the next explosion. I want to show you the fence in Kafar Aza. This is where militants broke in, slaughtering so many civilians and taking hostages back into the Gaza Strip. This small community along the Gaza border was known as a paradise in the south. Special needs children would come here to play. There was a dairy farm nearby. When Hamas militants entered last Saturday, they killed as many people as possible, doing what they could to create hell on earth. You can see here in Kafar Aza, many of the homes were burnt down by Palestinian militants 12 days ago when they entered this community along the border. Families were in bomb shelters trying to hide from the gunfire and the executions outside. And when these militants couldn't breach the shelters, they burned down the homes. As we find out more about the communities along the border that face these massacres by Palestinian militants, I do want to draw your attention to inside Gaza. We've been gathering more information from the Al-Ahli hospital explosion last night. The Israelis telling us today and providing evidence that an Islamic Jihad rocket misfired, landing in that hospital yard and killing many Palestinian civilians. This is in contrast to what we were told by Hamas officials who claimed it was an Israeli strike. All of this taking place as tension rises along the northern border and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah continues to get involved in the fight. Stuart. That evidence is very important. Uh, Trey, thank you very much for joining us. We will see you again later.